Um, well, I want to thank the board and especially the committee that uh, approved uh, the street come in for Ida B. Wells. Um, and so just today, the bank that owns for Metrotech, J.P. Morgan Chase, approved the uh, placement on their building of this plaque for Ida B. Wells. And we hope to have this week. Yeah, we yeah. hope to have, she lived on Gold Street. Ida B. Wells was very, very connected to Brooklyn. This was a very important time in her life from 1892 to 1895. And there was a lot of great ladies here in Brooklyn that actually mentored her. She was a young woman. And they mentored her. And she grew here in Brooklyn. And it was, it was just a part of what a great woman she became. So this got approved today by the bank. And uh, we hope to do the street coming ceremony and the plaque unveiling uh, either in late October or early November. I want everyone here on the board to come. Um, 12 years ago, before this board, after a long struggle, I was also personally responsible with the support of a whole bunch of people for coming up with the idea of co-naming Duffield Street abolitionist place. 2007. And after it got approved by this board, and that was fundamental, this executive vice president from the Economic Development Corporation called me up and said, Jacob, we got it approved. <laughs> and he was upset. He was upset because it kind of slowed down the expansion of Metro Tech and this whole. But that whole block, the two block stretch, was just one abolition, major abolitionist after another. Mayor Bloomberg announces $2 million, $1 million for programming. There was an RFP. You can't get the RFP anymore. EDC is withholding the RFP. We had to do a FOIL request for it. I want people to see, $1 million has basically disappeared. That was capital dollars for the integral inclusion of a great memorial to Brooklyn's role in the abolitionist movement in the park. Except it's not a park. It's owned by EDC. But EDC money is taxpayer money. And it's been a long time, it's been 12 years. So who on the board was here 12 years ago and knows this history? Yeah, good sir. That's why what the councilman asked for tonight from you guys to like, hey, table it for 30 days. Don't rush this. Don't let them rush it through the Public Design Commission. Because the Public Design Commission don't have historians either. They'll approve something just because they're asked. You guys have to care about the history of your own district, and I know that you do, and I thank you. <laughs>